Yo, what's up? <laughs> so in a change from normal vlogging, I thought we'd do something a bit different today just to change it up. Uh, one of the things I've talked a lot about is the films I like. So I thought, you know, I've referenced Bergman a lot, which must be strange to be talking about in a vlog about the making of a horror movie. I'm just worried about two things today. I'm worried that the battery on my sound recorder might die. And I'm worried the humming of my monitor is very loud. Can you hear that humming? I think you can. Anyway, we're just going to go on with it. This is it. This is all Bergman. This is all out of focus Bergman DVDs. Not everything I've seen, but everything that I own. And one of them that I own, I haven't seen. I think the appeal with Bergman is like when you're a student, you're trying to get at what, at least I was, trying to get at what you feel the heart the raw text of what cinema was and is, you know? Uh, and it doesn't get much colder and harder and more raw, really, than Bergman. You're talking black and white, you're talking subtitles, you know, Sweden, you're talking about death, despair, uh, you know, and those are the superficial things on the surface um, and some of them beneath the surface that you're dealing with. And I think that was like, I was like, this is just the place to start with cinema. Seventh Seal, you know, probably watched this very young, and I was like, this is cinema. Through a Glass Darkly is a really, really, really beautiful movie, and it, it might be actually the first Bergman movie I watched. It's a really beautiful uh, film about two siblings, and uh, one of them, they're kind of sent into madness, and, um, and they're kind of uptight father, right? Uh, oh yeah, the husband, Max von Sydow, and Gunnar uh, Bjornstand uh, Stan plays the father. Right, okay, interesting. I mean, it's just a really beautiful uh, film. And yeah, Persona. When I first watched this in 2006, I watched it uh, once a night. And then the next night, I watched it again because I was so blown away by it. I was like, you know, and this is David Lynch territory. This is, you know, David Lynch text. You're talking Mulholland Drive, right? Uh, this film, Mulholland Drive, doesn't exist without this, without this movie. The two things I was worried about was the sound dying, which it still might, and the monitor being loud. But actually, what I should have been worried about is my light going off. Cries and Whispers, I've only watched that once. Um, and it was hard, hard watch, but obviously an incredible movie. And I think Shame is the one I've never watched. I have it on DVD and I've never watched it. But, you know, maybe I'll change that. Maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. I don't know. And you know, the great thing about those Bergman movies is, you know, people always make fun of me for loving Bergman so much, is that they're, you know, they're so low budget. They're just two or three people in a room. Like, are you kidding me? Persona is just two people in a house for, you know, essentially, it must be at least 60 minutes. Um, and I think um, those kind of movies have helped me, you know, know that I can make a movie on a low budget, you know. Um, and from that point of view, you know, if, if you want to learn how to make a movie with just a couple of characters in a, in a location, just watch Bergman movies. <laughs> so yeah, now we get to the good stuff. I'm talking Leme Pri, I'm talking Godard. Yo, 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 two of the things I know about her. Yo, two in the wave, it's actually a documentary, but Godard's in it. Yo, the le, le detective from 1980 something. Tu va bien, Jane Fonda, recently came out, said she didn't like Godard, but uh, I like that movie. Le Mepri. Bridget Bardot, uh, obviously stunning beauty. Uh, uh, Michael Piccoli, Michelle Piccoli, who died right only a couple of years ago. Absolutely amazing in this and so kind of charming and such a rogue in this but also unable to express the love that he has for his wife i mean it's a mysterious movie these european movies from the 60s are really mysterious movies weekend was just another movie i love talk about going from one end of the of the you know 60s canon to the other end um i love this movie i mean i don't watch it that often like like the bergman stuff but it's an incredibly shocking and ferocious movie so yeah let's dive in here to see what we have let's pick some stuff out at random um where to start where to start what was with uh elroy what's his name elroy james elroy 
dissing this movie recently. This is a great movie, LA Confidential. One of the greatest movies of all time, am I right? What's up with that? Why would you say this is a bad movie? This is one of the greatest movies of all time. Well, we have some Billy Wilder movies here. I have Double Indemnity, Lost Weekend, Ace in the Hole, Sunset Boulevard, Stalag 17, Some Like It Hot, um, Ninochka, which I think he was a writer on. That's a really great movie, which I watched recently. Uh, Ernest uh, Lubitsch and Ninochka, Greta Garbo, Garbo Laughs. Another one of my favorite movies of all time. If not, maybe, you know, this is often one of my favorite movies that I reference. The Silence of the Lambs. Are you kidding me? This is the, this is the greatest movie. Just when I picked it up, I realized this is the greatest movie of all time. What can I add here that's of any substance to, to the dialogue about Silence of the Lambs? Nothing, except it's perfect in every way. Yeah, here's another one of my favorite movies, The Wild Bunch. I love this movie. Sometimes I prefer The Getaway, but no, this is, this is by far the superior movie. Um, William Holden and just Ernest Borgnine just knocking it out of the park. Or you could, they're just, you know, that, that scene where they say, he gave his word to a railroad. Mash, The Long Goodbye, Nashville, A Wedding. If you haven't seen this, guys, don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on this movie. This is a really fun movie. God, so many movies I have to rewatch. Did I talk about Billy Wilder, like Ace in the Hole? I need to talk about that. You know, Coppola is one of my heroes as well, you know. I think when you're a film student, you just love Apocalypse Now, right? It's just like, I want to be Coppola out in the jungle doing all these crazy things. These are three different editions of the same movie. Well, are they the same? They are, yeah. Well, one is Redux. And then on these other two editions, you've got kind of the theatrical cut and the Redux. I don't actually own the final cut. This is a really nice addition. Uh, Orson Welles. So we have some of Welles' greatest hits here and a few interesting ones. So we have Citizen Kane, obviously. Um, we have The Stranger, which is a kind of fun movie, which I've only seen once or twice. But it's an interesting movie. So Edward G. Robinson, Orson Welles. Uh, I think Welles' most successful movie. Uh, Welles plays a Nazi um, who, you know, he plays a Nazi on the run basically after the war. And it's about him being discovered. Um, and Edward G. Robinson plays... I don't know, some kind of an FBI agent or something on the case of him. Touch of Evil, I love, I love Touch of Evil. This is just one of the movies that I've just, I have a very clear memory of watching this as a child. Um, one late night there was a, on Christmas, there was a noir season over Christmas. Does anyone out there remember this, RT1? And it was on about 2 a.m., you know, RT, they show all these amazing movies, but just at the worst times. Um... And I've just such a clear memory of watching this movie and just being blown away and just being like, wow, this is cinema. This is cinema. Also, maybe last but not least, I think we need to finish up here, is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I was just the right age, you know. For a long time, Two Towers was my favorite, but I love Fellowship of the Ring. I think Fellowship of the Ring, Jackson is just completely in, tr in control of the movie, in the movie. It was essentially, you know, they talk about it being you know, a six, seven year process to make these movies. But at least three years of those really just went into Fellowship of the Ring. The first one, it came out, it had to be a success. And every second of this movie, Jackson is just in complete control of the movie. Um, and he's making director choices, you know, which is not something, you know, we talk about enough, you know, like Orson Welles, you know, you're very aware not, not that you're very aware. I mean, you can be sometimes because we watch so much stuff where the director hasn't made choices apart from just plop the camera down there and film it in a mid-shot. But with Wells in stuff like Lady from Shanghai with Citizen Kane um, in, and, and with Godard, you know, you talk about, what you talk about in Godard, you can talk about um, Pierre Lafaux, but I want to talk about two or three things I know about her with the coffee cup. Um, but that's a bit of an extreme example. Um, bum, 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 bum. but you know they're making choices and Jackson is making choices in every scene here and they're great choices you know they're just great great choices you, you see the final scene or close to the end where Elijah Wood is on the kind of the bank of the river and I think it starts with like uh, a mid shot then it kind of goes down to the ring which is in his hand and then it cuts back to him, then it dissolves to Gandalf, then it goes back to that kind of slow tilt up with the light kind of filtering through the leaves behind him. And then you cut back to that first setup, the ring closes and then 
the camera does this kind of really nice tracking movement from left to right as, as Elijah Wood moves forward towards the bow. And those are just great directing cuts uh, and really beautiful and credit to Andrew Lesney, the cinematographer as well, because I'm sure that was very collaborative. Um, so I think that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and chat soon.